now bring you a scheduled six round contest this bout in the super middleweight division. Timekeeper ringside is Jason Booth of Newark. Upon the sound of the bell, the scoring referee in charge of this contest is Sean Messer of Dudley. Boxing out of the blue corner, wearing the blue, white and red shorts this evening. He scaled at 11 stone, 11 pounds. His fight record includes 14 victories with four going inside the scheduled distance. Boxing out of Daneville, France. He is Crazy Frenchy Gregory Trainer. And across the ring, boxing out of the red corner, wearing gold, white and black, stands his undefeated opponent. He scaled at the weigh-in, 11 stone, 13 pounds even. 10 career victories. He is the one, the only, the body breaker from Birmingham, Idris Vago. <laughs> Referee Sean Messer with his final instructions. Here you go, Trino. Okay, give me a nice clean fight. I'm going to say break, stop punching and step back. Obey me at all times and protect yourself at all times. Understood? Touch gloves. Virgo in the white and gold black shorts, Gregory Trinnell in the blue and white red shorts. Herman's body breaker versus the crazy Frenchy. This is Trinnell's 24 fights. He's lost three of his last six as both. A load of quick exchanges. Virgo missed out on boxing here in September. But ready to make an impact tonight and hopefully continue his unbeaten run. Richie, great to have you here at ringside with us tonight. This is a tasty super manuate fight, isn't it? Yeah, it should be a, a good contest, this one. There's a bit of um, there was a bit of talk in, in the, the press conferences and the weigh-ins. So Trinell has certainly gone un under the skin of Virgo, but this is a good start from Virgo. Keeping Trinell on those ropes and just pounding away, and that's where Trinell does not want to be. Virgo is very, very strong physically, and he'll want a toe to toe battle. And if he can push his opponent back onto the ropes, then that's where he'll prefer to fight Virgo. So Trinell, for me, he's got to avoid the ropes. Such is the key. This Virgo is focused on boxing, of course, in an amazing shape. Wants to entertain. It's a heavy oh, shot there, though, early on. Yeah, shot at the back of the head and uh, Trinell complaining which is not it's not really a good sign and uh, like I said he's got under the skin a little bit of Virgo so let's see if he can back it up now because this is a hard contest for him Virgo is in he looks in tremendous shape Idris Virgo remember he's boxed up at cruiser so he can go from cruiser light heavy I think this is probably his weight super middle and he looks in tremendous condition and like I say Trinell I think he's got a hit and moving stay away from Virgo. Good, good work from Virgo early. Finding his punches well. Now for Burham. Able to punish and hurt the Frenchman. Willing to come in for that hug. Got it. He's to find his range, doesn't he? Virgo very strong on the inside and will prefer that type of contest. Like I said, I think Chanel has got to try and keep the punches straight and just maintain a gap between himself and Virgo. If you let Virgo close that gap down, if he moves into mid-range, that's where the power shots will, will, will come from. That's when Virgo is really, really dangerous. Chanel can produce on the front foot. He's away from the ropes. from the referee to Virgo to keep his concentration doesn't he yeah I mean, it's a bit yeah. of a it's a bit of a scrappy round actually and uh, Virgo hasn't really gotten to his rhythm yet he's won the round but it wasn't a great round of boxing that it's 
So he gets him on the ropes here. And this is where Virgo will prefer to box, keeping Trinell on those ropes. Trinell's the quality of his punches isn't very good. Just clips um, Virgo there with a shot, but that literally bounced off him. But if, if the fight is fought at, at this um, pace and at, at this position, then Virgo will be in control. Take your time, just set your shots up and go to work, okay? Yeah. You're looking too much, you're trying to, you know, he's, he's funny, yeah, don't worry about it, everything's cool, we're in control, right? Orders, 10 seconds. Seconds out. Now, he's winning the last time out. Terence Helmer, nine weeks ago, and it was in three rounds. I don't think that will be the case tonight. Richie, got to show more adventure. A yeah, little bit better from Virgo with the straight shots. Now starting using his jab, so he's listening to his corner. Scott Walsh wasn't that happy with him in the corner, but now he's getting into a groove now. Is Virgo working well with the jab and the straight shots, stepping in with confidence for those power punches. Now can respond to Virgo's positive start to the second round. The front foot. So there were the words. Free for this one. Now, who trying to find the strength? Well, that wasn't too bad from Chanel, yeah. and that, that, uh, that attack. But again, his tactic is to frustrate um, Virgo. When, when you frustrate a boxer and you make him lose his, his temper, that's when he can get a little bit tense and stiff and he becomes um, very easy to read. So that's not a bad shot from there, from Chanel. That was a cracking left up from the Frenchman. And it seemed that Virgo was going to be on top of that combination. Another good shot from Janelle. No left open here. Good pick up though from Virgo. Virgo needed that as well. That was a cracking punch from Virgo to reply from a couple of good punches that have been thrown from Trinell. The hooks, he's keeping the guard nice and high as he's coming forward. And he's caught Virgo with a couple of um, shots across the target, the hooking shots. So that means Virgo's got to keep his hands up a little bit more here, Josh. So I ask you if they can both maintain this pace in this second round, but Trinell responded. And it's to withstand a strong left hand from Virgo. Good left, uh, sorry, right up a cut as well, just before that. So, right up a cut, left up. And Trinell really felt that one. And again, it's yeah, scrappy. A little bit cleaner and smoother in this second round for Virgo. After taking a few hits, he's now in the ascendancy. Body shots followed by an uppercut. Trinell now walking into these punches. I mean, he's still taking risks, Virgo, as he's coming forward, because his hands are quite low, but he's, he's very strong and confident on that front foot. And I like the way he switches the attack. He'll work to the head, then he'll switch with a left up to the body. And that, that right up through the middle, yeah, that's a cracking shot. Just feels that Trinell's not going to hurt him. He's able to drop the gloves. There we go. Good shot from Trinell. Followed up by Africa. They both stare at each other as we go into the interval. Good round of boxing, I thought, there from both boxers. I thought Virgo probably had the better of it, but there were some nice little shots from um, Trinell also. Good left up there from Virgo back in there. That was Trinell a shot, wasn't it? Yeah, that was a great shot from Trinell. You know, and he's, he's fooling around and, like I say, just trying to get under the skin again of Virgo. But yeah, good round, but Virgo won it again for me. Middleweight. Between Virgo 
Jumping out. He's getting confidence from going in that range. Second round. Loading. Good punches. Yeah, the head's clashed there, and that's why Virgo just wiping his eye. He's just got caught. He looks the stronger on the inside, does Virgo, but give credit to Trenel. He's, he's quite prepared to stand and trade on the inside and take the odd shot here and there. He's making it scrappy, but like I say, Virgo, he's strong on the inside. Those punches, Trenel. He goes on the front foot. Virgo just dodges him. He'll come again. On the inside, to the corner. Nice right hand. Put up by left. Yeah. He just made the mistake there, Trinidad, of actually turning to Southpaw and he gets caught with a right hand as he's switching. So, um, yeah, he, he took a gamble and got caught with the shot. Uh, got into the corner. Uh, no, a few of his own punches. Able to defend well. Then it flowing and then calls for the break. So movement from Virgo. Now going in and getting caught twice. Get caught again. That was a really good straight left, wasn't it? Yeah, that's a better shot. Nice and nice jab there. He's way off the target with that hook, but those straight shots, and that's what you've got to do, is set up those attacks with behind the straight punches, the jab, the straight right hands, and then move in for the bent arm work. And he's just finding his, his rhythm now, is uh, Virgo. Well, he's just got to listen to his corner a little bit more, though, Josh. He's got to maintain that gap with those straight shots to set up the power punches. Can hurt Trinell tonight. As it is possible. And boxing seriously. And a YouTuber. My influencer wants to fight, wants to win, wants to continue fighting. And producing. Combinations tonight. Right over a hand. And it on. Trinell. He's not been much of a threat in this round, has he? He's struggling a little bit. Yeah, he's finding the, the pace is, is affecting him now. But Virgo, fair play to him. Coming forward. He's the one that's dictating things. Trinell, I think he's a tough cookie. I'll give him that. But the quality of his boxing isn't up to the standard of Virgo. Virgo, his punches are much better, crisper, sharper. Accomplished performance from his Virgo. And that's a good, good round for Virgo. <laughs> In fair play to Trinell. He went, goes back to the corner and raises his hand. So, yeah, he's, he's a tough kid, fair play to him, but again, he was uh, he was beaten in that round for me. I thought there was some good stuff from um, Virgo. Nice little shot on the inside there from Virgo. Gets caught with the punch, but lands a lovely left up to the body. And that's not that's a lovely chopping left up from Trinell there, so keeping Virgo on the ropes. So yes, it went this way than that in that round, but for me, at the end of the round, I know he feels that he did well, but Virgo, again, he's, he's won all three rounds for me. Like You've got all the fucking. It's all their way. Listen, you've just got to get accurate, okay? Second, so give yourself a breather. Well, it's got to be more accurate. You've been saying, Richie, be straight, be dominant. Find it, stay on top of it. You should have the points. Yeah, that's what he's got to do. Just just concentrate on, on his boxing a little bit more and set the power shots up. So you, you work with the jab and, and maintain a gap and try and outbox the opponent and then move in for heavy, the heavier punches. Just trying to do that. Trinell on his back. He's found in that corner. And he's found. It's a good uppercut from Virgo. Trinell wants more. Cody. Injures Virgo. And sometimes you can come across an opponent that will just take all the all the shots to the head. So maybe more more body work. Just ask the question downstairs with a couple of big body shots that can undo many a boxer who can take all the head shots you, you, you give them, but the body shots then that's a different kettle of fish. He's been producing him tonight, hasn't he, Virgo? And he's been on top. 
fight is centre of the ring. I've seen that much throughout this fight. Nice from Virgo, expanding. Those punches of ease now. Don't believe Janelle will be broken down tonight, though. Seems he will fight up. Well, they're both earning their money tonight, these lads. Tough, tough fight. Hit after hit. Coming in. Pulling the crazy Frenchie for no reason. He's got caught from an uppercut. And you know, I'm trying to switch it and put him on the ropes. He's just, just done that. It's a fake right hand, Trinell. And Virgo with the uppercut swings and a little bit of a miss. Yeah, again, I mean, Virgo just the victim of, of, of his own mistakes there. Just dropping his hands and getting caught with the left hook. Doesn't need to be doing that. Again, there's a bit of needle there and he's, he's trying to out muscle his guy and just. Just um, out punch him really, where he's, he's got to concentrate on, on his boxing a little bit more here, as, as Idris Virgo behind that jab. He's just been drawn into a toe-to-toe -to -toe battle at times, and occasionally Trinell gets through. It's exciting for us. Dangerous for Virgo. Have to get back on top of that nice uppercut. He's finding his punches. We even and ducking both fighters there. Brief and now for breaking it. Need the intervention from the referee. Powerful, powerful punches coming in from Virgo. Trinell stunned a little bit here. That is a strong, strong end to an entertaining round of boxing. <laughs> Very entertaining. <laughs> and again, Trinell playing his part. Comes comes off worse off for me again though. I think Virgo's just having the better of these exchanges. Lovely right up got on the inside there. And Trinell takes it well. Like we've said, he's a very tough fella. But the quality of his work isn't as good as um, Idris Virgo. Throw more than two shots, okay? You're throwing a beautiful uppercut, a lovely hook, and we're not doing it enough, okay? You see, wipe his nose again. Wipe his nose again, mate. Don't wipe all that grease off. Right, so listen, breathe. Breathe. Breath. Let's get to fucking work now, right? Stop fucking the back, let's go to work. You can do this all day long. You can do this all day long, okay? How many? Second Round five. Round five, but a super battle between Virgo and Trinell. Concentration very much the buzzword in that corner for Virgo. Focus on the job. Look, I said it politely compared to Scott Welch. Yeah. <laughs> I think we've got to give Trinell a lot of credit. Um, at the start of this contest, I thought he would do better boxing at range, but he's actually done very well on the inside. And he doesn't look, look like he's, he's equipped for that type of work. He, you know, he's not, he hasn't got the physique as he just Virgo. Virgo looks in tremendous condition. But, you know, in boxing, I suppose you never judge a book by its cover. And um, Trinell is one of those characters. He's, he seems very strong on the inside. I mean, look at this. Look at the shots he's taking here, and he's still firing back. So maybe it's Idris Virgo that's got to concentrate on those straight punches, but we've been saying that. He seems to outbox him at, at times, but then gets just dragged in, and Trinell fancies his chances on the inside. Shot after shot coming in from Virgo tonight. An illustration of that. No on the ropes. Counter miss. Now he's just picking the shots out. Got look for that uppercut. You see, this is when it takes a little bit of concentration and, and, and focus. When, you, when you're boxing someone very close quarters like that, you just need to take half a step back, create a little bit of space that you can punch into and to hit the target. He seems to be on top of uh, Trenell. And sometimes it, it just Virgo is probably guilty of smothering his own work. He's got to create a, more of a gap on the inside and just concentrate. It's not easy inside short-range work. A little bit of blood also from Virgo. Maybe just a cut from the top below his nose. Been too heavy, but the signs of the battle we've seen in this clash. Now it's just, I'm not saying, is that all you got? Well, that was a good body shot there from Virgo. And you can see Trinell just, just 
just sort of falls into him and just grabs a few seconds. So that, that shot might have affected him a little bit. Now, Vergut finished the job. Now coming out of Chanel's head now. Brutal affair. This one's been superb up a cut there from Virgo. Now this looking very good for Virgo. Left there, jab. Both are bleeding. Pedal scars, Richie. Yeah, and, and both are making loads of mistakes. I mean, look, look at their feet. The feet are so square. They're both, you know, they're full onto the opponent and they're both very open. It's just a slugfest, really. And you, you would fancy Virgo to come through. But but you've got to give great credit to Trenell. That's a close, that's a close around. Six low. So Trenell had some success in this round, um, coming forward. He seems to throw punches from different angles. That, that's what yeah, I'm talking about, about yeah. doing just, just that little push away, and then he's pushed back in with the feet, just to create a bit of space. What are you doing? You're having a lot of success. What do you expect from this in the final round, then? Yeah, I mean, you know, I'd probably give Trinell just one of the rounds, maybe two, but that's all. Virgo's winning this contest. Every single thing on this line is your game. Okay? If you do this, it's fucking a live string. Listen, listen. This is it all. Stand up. Seven coach. On the sixth and final round. Okay, since in that 11th win, remaining unbeaten. As we've seen in the previous five rounds, so much can happen. Always in boxing, but only these two have been able to just consistently just slug it out. We've seen it again. Such as Knock out. Punch here. Referee's not intervening. Trinnell on the ropes. Brilliant punch here for Bobo. Losing discipline. Running towards Frenjic. In. Georgie Trinnell. Well, he's found the right hand that, that he wanted to try and turn this contest on its head. That right hand, tremendous shot. Lacked the experience there, did uh, Virgo in the way he moved in. And um, he wasn't composed enough there. And let, has let Trinnell really recover, but it was a cracking right hand. Put him in trouble. For a moment, could have been a stoppage on the cards. Trinnell has recovered well. Looking for dear life. I have a strong right hand. This is where Virgo has been good tonight. The cut landed. Right hand landed. Into the corner. Trinnell goes. Left and right. He's missing, isn't he? Just yeah. at a key stage. Just a little, that's what I'm talking about. Ben. Creating that space. Half a step back. Just to create a space and then punch into it. But um, just a lack of experience, really. But he's certainly got the power. But just the technique's just not quite right for Virgo. And he just rushed things there. Which he's done time and again during the contest. But that may be because there's a, still a bit of needle between the two. He definitely wants the stoppage and that's why he's rushing things, I think, Virgo. Another minute left. I'm sure left will be Chanel. Oh, yeah. Wanting a stoppage, having a bit of backlog between each other. Wanting to make a statement, these punches look like he wants to make a statement as Trinnell trembles a little bit, losing his footing. You know what, it was tremendous work by the corner there. They, they, give, his, they give their boxer probably an extra five or six seconds, which is absolutely crucial. Trinnell now, he's just hanging in there. He just wants to get to the end, he wants to hear that final bell. Oh, he doesn't want to hear that, no, he wants to finish his job now. More punches, left hand straight. Looking for the hook. It's a land. Oh, drawing from both boxers. Truly delicious. Battle between these two. Super middleweights. Drill might just get the belt. Richie. Yeah, he's just hanging in. In there, isn't he? Trinnell. He chases him. 
Verdugo, very strong right to the very last seconds, trying to find that knock knockout shot, but I don't think it's going to come. Made in seconds. That will be right in a few. Come from Trinell, really good. That is it. Oh, it just fell up. And we reach it out. Entertaining, brutal battle. Uh, super middleweight bat level. And Richie, do you feel it is Virgo's 12th victory? Yeah, definitely. Remember? He's definitely won the contest. That was that just was the icing on the cake. That right hand there that almost forced the stoppage, but just a bit of a lack of experience in the way he tried to finish him off. He just wants he rushes in and misses the target with his lead hand, and then he's just throwing shots that and nothing's hitting the target. That's when you've got to have a bit of composure, take half a step back and pick your punches. He's certainly uh, gone for the finish, but like I said, there wasn't a lot that was hitting the target, but the one right hand that started it all off, yeah, that was a cracking punch, one of the best punches of the contest. And over two, Paul Booth. Our super male night contest that goes the full six rounds. So our scoring referee Sean Messer decides the bout. He sees it at 60 points to 54 points in favour of the winner, who is still undefeated. It is the body breaker from Birmingham, Idris Bego.